It's that time. Let's feud. I'm not going anywhere. Lucky is here to stay. Let's give a big, hey, haven't we met before, to our returning families. They got second place last time. Now, they're back with their eyes on first. Hoping for another win, I bet. You've got this down, but a quick recap. I give you a survey, and you tell me what answers you think are popular. All right, feuders, let's play. Nowhere near as painful as it sounds, it's the face-off. One person from each team, come down and join me here at the front. There's four answers for you to find. Fingers on buzzers, here we go. 100 people gave us an answer to this question. Name a word that completes the phrase, here comes the, you're up. Yeah. Nice. Is it there? Bride. Perfecto. Is it your time to play or pass? You want to step up to the plate again? All right, then. Got a guess ready? Because I'm going to need one. Uh-huh. That's, right yes. That's good. Time to find out if it's up there. Brain. Sorry, it wasn't up there. So I'm going to have to give you your first strike. No. Give me an answer. It's worth a shot. Did anyone in the survey say this? Needle. Ouch, that's your second strike. All right, let's hear it. Okay, sure. Survey said, Sun. You're still hanging in there. Ooh. We're on a razor's edge here. Are you sure about that? Our survey said, Hot Stepper. Three strikes. That's going to do it for you. Nice. The other family gets a chance to steal. It only takes one right answer to steal those points. Name a word that completes the phrase, here comes the... Good answer. Yeah. That's what you're going with? Could it be there? Pain. That's not it. The points go to this family. Let's see what you missed. Reveal number four. Boom. What was hiding behind slot number two? Judge. 
Before we start another round, let's find out who's on top. The first points of the game are on the scoreboard. It's time for the face-off. Let's get someone from each family down in front. We have four to find on this one. Get those buzzer fingers ready. We conducted a survey of 100 people for this question. Name something people swallow without chewing. In like a flash, what do you think? Interesting answer. Our survey says, water. You're on the board, but it's not the number one answer. We're still looking for the top answer, by the way. That's what you think, huh? And our survey says, medicine, the top answer. Player pass, what's it gonna be? You're playing. I need an answer. Sure thing. Do we have a right answer? It isn't there. First strike. But you've still got this. I know it. Two more answers up there. What do you think? Good. Okay. And what did our survey say? Soup! Strike two. Okay, people, let's be careful here. You can still do it. Two answers are left, just two. What could be easier? Answer accepted. Time to check the board. Coffee. I got bad news, folks. That's three strikes. Uh -huh. yeah. Now it's the other family's turn to take a crack at it. One answer will do it, and they can steal the round. Name something people swallow without chewing. You didn't find what we wanted. This family have bagged the win. What were the answers that passed us by? And number four, please. Oysters. What was the second highest answer? Ice cream. So, where are we with the scores? You may have won this round, but you still got a lot of ground to cover. No! Let's play another game. 
I want two people to join me over here. I'm gonna need six answers, friends. Ooh, things are heating up. Points are doubled now. In our survey, we asked 100 people, name a kind of fish you wouldn't want to see on your sushi roll. You're up first, what do you got? Yeah. Yeah. Okay then, let's run with it. Catfish. That's correct with a capital K, which means it's there. But there's still a better one. Can you find the top answer? It's still up there. That's a great answer. Got it. Let's see it. Piranha. <laughs> Zilch. It's make up your mind time. Pass or play. They really had you on the ropes last time. Now it's time to start swinging. Hey there. Looks like it's your turn. Good answer. Said with confidence. Let's see if it's there. Goldfish. Oh. It's on the board, what we could do better. Yay. Do you have an answer? Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Our survey said, shark. You're on the board, but that top answer is still out there. Woo. It's up to you now. Uh -huh. That's your answer. There aren't many answers left. Is it there? Dolphin. No points. Got an answer for me? Uh. All right. Is that one of the ones we're still looking for? That's your second strike right there. Oops. Name a kind of fish you wouldn't want to see on your sushi roll. Yeah. Oh, okay. Show me the answer. Jellyfish. <laughs> Dang, that's three strikes. Sorry, folks. Oh, this yeah. round is getting thrown over to the other side. If this family finds just one answer, they'll steal the round. You could steal all the points with this answer. Here we go, then. Let's take a look. Blowfish. You've done it. You're racking up those rounds. It's time to take a look at what we didn't find. Number four, por favor. Eel. Come on, let's take a look at that missing top answer. 
part. Shall we take a look at the scores? Time to go head to head, it's the face off. I'm gonna need one person from each family to join me right now. Six answers is what we're looking for this time, folks. The stakes are getting higher because we're now tripling the points. We asked a hundred people the following. Name a game you would never play with Captain Hook. You're in first. What you got? Good yes! Let's see what the survey says. Oh, swing and a miss. You've got this, 100%. Okie dokie. Let's check the board and see if it made it. Tag! Top answer! You won the face off, so tell me, play or pass? Rejoin your family and let's get started. I'm gonna need your guess. Understood. Let's see if that's a correct answer. Twister. Bingo. What will you go for? I see where you're going with this. Is it up there? Show me. Family Feud. That's incorrect. Name a game you would never play with Captain Hook. Yep. Show me that answer. Soccer. Two strikes. Our other family need to get ready to steal. Oh. Get another strike, and the other family will get a chance. All right, let's try it. Let's see if it's up there. Cards. Nice, Feudin. You've still got a chance. Oh. They may look innocent, but if you don't get this one, those folks over there could steal everything. Good answer. Feeling lucky? I want to see that answer. Chess. Oh, no. Strike three. Oh, Looks like oh. the other family has a chance to steal. All we need is one answer, and this family can steal around. Name a game you would never play with Captain Hook. Ah, uh, yes. Is that answer good enough? Basketball. No! You win, so the points go over here. So what did we miss this time? Can we see six? Volleyball. 
Number five was wrestling. Number three, how to cake. Let's see how the scores look. Four rounds down and we still don't have a winner. Looks like we're gonna need to do one more round. Neither team has surpassed 300 points, so that means we need a decider. Let's fly in the face of danger and play sudden death. Can I have a person from each team join me over here? We just want the number one answer. For this survey, we're asking for the top answer only. Points are tripled. Whoever gets this answer wins the round. We asked 100 people, what is a word that dogs understand? You've got some quick reactions, my friend. What do you think? Yeah. Okay. Let's see if the board's got it. Sit. Hooray. It's up there. You've won. Your reward for having the most points is getting to go first in Fast Money. Since you have fewer points, you'll still be playing Fast Money, but you'll be going second. It's time to go for the big dough in Fast Money. It's time for the team captains to take the stage. You're up first. You'll answer five survey questions. Try to come up with the best answers because your opponent will go next and whoever gets the most points at the end will take home the grand prize. Your time starts now. Tell me something that gets stuck in a tree. Name a word or phrase that can follow the word Swiss. Name a word or phrase that can follow pop. Name something for which Dorothy and her friends asked the Wizard of Oz. What are you sick of seeing posts of on social media? We're all questioned out. Now it's time for the other family to step up and play. I'm going to ask you the same five questions. You cannot duplicate any answers. If you do, I'll ask you to try again. Okay, start the clock. Tell me something that gets stuck in a tree. Name a word or phrase that can follow the word Swiss. Name a word or phrase that can follow pop. Name something for which Dorothy and her friends asked the Wizard of Oz. What are you sick of seeing posts of on social media? All right, that's all five of them. Everyone take a breather, that's all the questions. Who's got the edge on this game? It's time to find out. First up, we asked, tell me something that gets stuck in a tree. And your answers? Those look like some mighty fine answers. Uh -oh, We've nice. got ourselves a number one answer. Our second question was, name a word or phrase that can follow the word Swiss. You answered, 
You should feel confident with these answers. There's already a big lead opening up. You remember the third question, right? It was, name a word or phrase that can follow pop. And here's what you said. Let's see what our survey said. Uh -huh. We got one good answer this time. Goes the weasel. That was worth the most points. On our next question, we asked, Name something for which Dorothy and her friends asked the Wizard of Oz. Here are your answers. That's two strong answers right there. Awesome. Not bad. That's some solid answers there. The top answer? Heart. And the final question? What are you sick of seeing posts of on social media? This is what you said. And for the last time. Yeah. Now that's what I call a win. It's our winning family, everyone. For our losing family, it's time to say goodbye. You won't be going home with nothing. We'll add your fast money score to all your other points from the game, and you'll get to take home that much money. Thanks a thousand times for playing. See you back here soon. Goodbye. So, are we gonna do this again, or should I head back to my dressing room?